Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that Rube Goldberg machine because I put a lot of work into it. But since this machine is about anti-bullying, I know that I have to do a little bit more than just make a machine about it. Now I was and am very lucky to not have very much personal experience with bullying, but certainly a lot of people aren't that lucky. Now bullying is always bad news for any age, but especially for middle school and high school because that's when a social life and having friends is really important. But the main reason I think bullying is such a problem is because the methods that we teach kids in school with how to deal with it are completely ridiculous and wrong. Now I'll give you a couple examples. The first one that comes to mind is they say, tell a teacher. Now this seems like a perfectly good idea in theory, but what happens after you tell the teacher that this is going on? Oftentimes, nothing. Guidance counselors and teachers always stress that you should tell them whenever you're experiencing a problem with bullying, but in most cases, the only thing they'll ever do is take the bully and put them at a different lunch table for a single lunch period, as if that's going to do anything. Now, I don't know what these teachers are thinking that could possibly do to help stop the bullying, because bullies are not afraid of getting in trouble. But they're also not stupid. If a teacher calls them out for bullying, they know exactly what happened. You told the teacher! And that could possibly make the bullying worse. And keep in mind, this is only when the teachers do anything at all. Oftentimes, teachers will just dismiss it as a non-issue. The other thing that teachers say all the time is, tell your parents if you're getting bullied. But there are also problems with this as well. Now, some parents are good enough to be able to deal with the problem and get the ball rolling to eventually get the problem solved, but some parents just don't get it. Let's say, for example, you're in middle school, and you want to play football at recess, but there's this group of kids that's playing that excludes you from the group and won't let you play. Now, when you tell your parents about this issue, there are two things that could happen. One, your parents recognize this as an actual issue and do something about it. Or two, they dismiss it and say, go find something else to do, without realizing the severity of the issue or how much it actually means to you. And therein lies the problem, because if this situation were to escalate to anything bigger than it already is, the parents would never know, or they'd never do anything about it. And the last technique to deal with bullies that they teach you in school is the one that I personally find most ridiculous, and this is... Just stand up to the bully and say no. This will do a grand total of nothing. It will not help at all. I know we all love to think that we live in a magical fantasy land where the word no has magical powers that can solve any of your problems, but for a second here, we really need to be realistic. Now this video was never meant to solve bullying, and personally I don't have any solutions myself, but I do know that the techniques they teach you are pointless. The only thing I could possibly think of is that we need to stop focusing on the victim of the bullying and focus more on the bully themselves, and start teaching kids from an early age that that's not okay. And then maybe we can get somewhere. So anyway guys, that's all I really have to say on the topic. Again, I hope you enjoyed the machine. Uh, if you did, leave a comment down below along with what you thought of my points, because I'm very curious to see if you guys agree with me. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, because I've got some pretty awesome videos coming up. Anyway. Bye guys!